work bag and for those of you who do not know I'm Brittany um, welcome to our channel this is our well yes my wife's not with me she's at work today but this is our first vlog um, on our TTC journey um, so thanks for tuning in a little bit about why I'm in the hospital gown um, today is because I'm going in to have an HSG test done. Um, we are scheduled for insemination next week. Before we do, for those of you who are not familiar with an HSG test, basically um, they will be doing kind of like an x-ray of my fallopian tubes and my um, ovaries and things like that just to make sure that there's no blockage or anything. Um, so that's what I'm scheduled for today. And I'm just waiting to see the doctor. So I will be back in a little bit with the results. Um, so stay tuned. YouTube, I'm back. Um, oh, as you can tell, I am in the bed for a very good reason. First off, I did have the... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> oh, okay. I had the HSG test done today. That test, let me, let me, I'm not sure if any of you who um, have, who are in the process of TTC or who have TTC and have had this test done, but that is by far one of the most painful things I've ever had to undergo. Keep in mind, I have an 11-year-old, okay? I think that test was worse than labor. That's just my opinion. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with um, my health, I guess. Um, so a little bit about what the doctor stated to me today during this test. Well... Let me give you a little backstory first, which I probably should have started this vlog with that. Um, maybe I, maybe my wife and I will come and do a video, and we'll just give you a little backstory on us and things of that nature. But anyway, um, about a year ago, um, we were trying, we were TTCing, and it was kind of put on hold for a little while. Because I, I had a fibroid. I had a fairly large fibroid. I think it was about 7 centimeters, give or take. Anyway, my uterus was then the size of a 3 to 4 month pregnancy. Now, I had a myomectomy to remove it, uh, which was successful. At that time, we took some time off from TTC to allow my body to heal, my uterus to heal, things like that. So, um... We're now picking up where we left off. That was a year ago um, that we did that. Well, it was over a year. It was a year last March. Well, it was we had it last March, so it was a year of March. But anywho, um, so today during my test, because I had the fibroid, my uterus is still fairly large. So because of that, um, the doctor had to insert more contrast to get a clear reading. Um, for those of you who have never heard of HSG testing or anything like that, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, okay? If you want, you can Google. It's HSG. And basically what it does is it's kind of like an x-ray of your uterus, things like that. So you lay on the table as you would do if you were having um, a pelvic exam, the doctor places the speculum in your vagina. They also put a catheter in there and with the catheter they fill your uterus with contrast like they would do if you were having an M um, not an MRI but um, a CAT scan. Okay? So they did that. That is the most painful part is pushing in the contrast to get a reading. So um, the doctor ended up having to use more contrast than he initially intended. So for that reason, it caused 
a lot more pain um, to the point where it was unbearable and we were not able to complete the testing. From what, because I have a very large fibroid, I'm sorry, not fibroid, uterus, excuse me. Um, from what he did gather from the test today, he says, um, my uterus is perfect, it, even though it is a little larger than normal. Um, he was not able to completely tell whether or not there's any blockage in my fallopian tubes, from, but from what he was able to see without going any further because of the amount of pain that I was in, um, he's comfortable, he's okay with doing the procedure next week. Um, so basically that's pretty much what I got or what I took from what he stated to me. Um, usually the contrast, they want to see it flow all the way through the fallopian, I'm sorry, through, yeah, through the fallopian tubes to make sure there's no blockage or anything like that. Well, he was able to get it partially through, but not completely because, again, the amount of pain that I was in and he didn't want to continue that way. So the plan right now um, is to go ahead and do the insemination next week. Um, I had all of my blood tests done today. Of course, for those of you who might be familiar, you have to undergo, when you're using donor sperm, you have to undergo um, several blood tests to check for chlamydia, um, HIV, syphilis, um, hepatitis B and C, so forth, blah, blah, blah. So I had all of that done today as well during this appointment. Um, so again, the plan is to go ahead and inseminate next week, which I'm hopeful. Um, I'm very hopeful, as a matter of fact, that um, it will go ahead and work. Fingers crossed. Prayers. We are definitely praying and hoping that this does take. Um, <sighs> even though I didn't get the answers I was looking for today, I really was hoping for something that would just kind of set my mind at ease and just, you know, I can continue to be excited and things like that. But um, I'm not going to worry or get upset about it. I'm just going to kind of, we're going to leave it in the Lord's hands and, and pray for the best. And if it takes, you know, we'll be ecstatic. Um, if not, the doctor says, you know, the plan is to do at least two IUIs, if that doesn't work, the next step would be IVF if we decide to go that route. So, yeah, today is cycle day five for me. Um, I will begin testing for my surge, my LH surge, on cycle day 10, which will be next Wednesday, I believe. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the plan. Um, I will try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. Um, again, thank you um, for following our channel. And for those of you who happen to come across this channel, if you were following us previously, you did notice that I kind of changed some things around with my previous YouTube channel simply because... We did put a lot of things on hold and we talked and talked and talked and didn't think that we were going to go ahead with the process of um, trying to conceive. Um, it was just a lot going on and we were a little conflicted about how we felt. So we just, we initially decided that we weren't going to do it. Um, it wasn't until recently we said, okay, you know what, we really want to have another child. Um, so, you know, we went and met with the doctor and kind of full speed ahead. So diving head first. <laughs> so hopefully, um, everything will be fine. But, um, 
Yeah. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Hope that this video didn't bore you to death, but I was just trying to give you a little bit of um, what happened today and where we are on our journey. And um, next week will be Insemination Day. We will take you guys along with us. Um, so and we'll keep you updated as much as possible um, and so forth. So please, 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 please pray for us. Keep us in your prayers. And um, yeah, as long as you have good intentions, I must say that because not all prayer is good prayer. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> it was fun talking to you guys and I will talk to you again later. Thanks. Bye.